every week sees the release of multiple mysterious videos. However, some of these defy explanation. <clears throat> so, from a Mexican witch ah! to a violent ghost, join us. Recently uploaded, this video was filmed somewhere in Montreal, Canada. The videographer films the moon on a daily basis. However, in his latest look, he apparently captured these UFOs. Those aren't UFOs, they're beans, idiot. Clearly one of the astronauts has dropped them from orbit Incredibly, with the ISS. Based on the size of their shadows, they would have to be massive. Oh, <laughs> that's the whole thing. <laughs> In this next video, a woman is casually walking down the street when she is suddenly and violently thrown by an unseen farce. Holy shit! It's like a Nacho Libre Seriously, suplex. While some blame a chain, others maintain there is nothing there. As such, if this isn't the answer, what kind of farce would be able to throw over a person with such ease? In recent years, the phenomena of frozen planes has become a hot topic among paranormal enthusiasts. Usually credited to the simulation theory, most of the videos can be explained. However, this one continues to puzzle viewers. Shot by Atlanta resident Sebastian Badajas, mm. he shows a private plane frozen in midair. Thanks to Tier 1. Thanks to Tier 1 in Lego. The resub Sosuko. Initially, some skeptics blamed the wind. Yet the banner behind the plane doesn't reflect this. Uh oh. We do have ourselves a real mystery afoot. Who hacked the plane? Eventually, after over a minute, the plane finally resumes its flight. But what caused it to freeze in the first place? Uh, probably just a server issue, I don't know. Little is known about this next video, although it's believed to have been filmed in Russia. If that is the case, then this father and son may have tuggy. captured the old master, the Russian Bigfoot. Makes it tier one prince. <laughs> no, oh God! I knew it! I've been saying it for years, Sasquatch is real! Finally, the proof! Compared to most Bigfoot footage, this one has little to no skeptics. And is considered what? to be one of the best videos out there. <laughs> In particular, people draw attention to its massive shoulders and elongated arms. Little to no skeptics, huh? Seem to make a hoax unlikely. Yeah, you, you you can't you can't dispute that, I guess. Looks pretty. Uh, no argument from me. Also, uh, I'll just read this out. The number eight one with the girl being knocked over is an edited video. It was originally a tire that flew off a truck and hit her in the face and they edited the tire out. I've actually seen that on Twitter. Since there's a lot of videos where tires fly out and hit somebody, on Twitter there was an account that would edit the tires out and just have the impact. And I recognized one of them because I saw it on Reddit. They had edited out the tire on someone that was walking down the sidewalk and gets hit in the back and just like fucking flies forward. They edited the tire and the entire like skeptic community on Twitter was like, see, fucking proof that something is afoot in our simulated universe. So that is actually a pretty common one. On May 17th, 2006, a mysterious entity was filmed flying over mm, the Nuevo Leon Mountains in Mexico. According to those who captured the video, it appeared to be wearing a cape. An observation that led to theories it was a witch. Is this- what am I looking at? A microscope? What the f- Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Now I see it. That is, without a doubt, a witch. Eerily, in support of this claim, two policemen revealed that they had seen a similar or identical witch that same day. Thanks, Resubsquanto. 
Not tonight though, Q. We just caught up like literally three nights ago. Thanks to some meat strips, fizzle, gift sub prints, and prime Dakota. Una noche cuando vigilaba este lote de autos recibió la visita de dos seres que volaban sobre el panteón de Santa Catarina, ubicado a espaldas del cerro donde fue grabada la enigmática figura. Dos años antes, Leonardo Samaniego tuvo un encuentro similar. Curiosamente, Thanks for your blogging. One thing I've wanted to do is create one of these things. Like I'd like to have Mark Rober whip up like a really convincing paranormal flying thing and then just fly it around like I don't know, some city, and see how many people pick up it, like, believing it's real. However, some skeptics maintain that the supposed witch is actually just a bunch of blooms. Yet those who saw it are insistent it was supernatural. I think that's illegal. What, to convince people that the fucking witches exist? In multiple public hero videos, this to give some seems to depict the close call rescue of a bystander. However, when researchers look closer, what seemed like an ordinary fall now appeared to be the result of paranormal interference. What? Eerily, when zoomed in, you can see a faint apparition, one that seems to actively push the bystander. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Ah, of course it's an apparition. What else would it be? Thanks to Resub Daffy and the anonymous bits. Skinwalker Ranch. Yep, that sounds like actual serial killer shit. I can't watch that on Twitch. Stays in place for a few seconds before disappearing. Isn't this this? Uh, hold on. This clip right here. Isn't this the one where it was a drunk man that got arrested because he pushed her onto the tracks? That's this video, isn't it? Holy shit, hold on. Uh, wh that wasn't long ago. Let me see it. Where was it? It was a drunk homeless man, if I remember right, that pushed her onto the tracks. Or it could be a different one. But let's see. No, it's a different one. Or at least, I don't, well, Jesus, there's a couple instances, but it is, the one I was thinking of is not this one. Thanks to the resub spike in the tier one waffles. Skinwalker Ranch was the first known sighting of a Wendigo. Okay, I see we're using those terms very loosely. Let me see tier one Emily drones and the bits Ozzy and Cinder. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll queue it up. But I'm trying to find this because I'm pretty sure this video is, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a guy that pushed her because this looks very familiar. Okay, I guess not. Must have been a ghost. Thanks to the Prime Kung Fu and Kidney Stones and the Resub Smiles. And the Resub Rusty. It's not like a ghost thing or anything, that's just kind of interesting. I've never heard that theory. Who was that? Al Duce? Is that even a real thing? El Duce. Eldon Hoke. 
After the body of frontman Kurt Cobain was discovered in the greenhouse of Cobain's Lake Washington home, Hoke began making the claim that Cobain's wife, Courtney Love, had offered to pay him to kill Cobain. Hoke promoted his story in such media outlets as Jerry Springer, Inquirer, and Nick Broomfield's documentary, Kurt and Courtney. In 1996, Hoke passed a lie detector test when claiming that Love had offered him 50k to kill Cobain. Uh, in 1997, do do. Douche, douche, I don't know how to say it, it's whatever, uh, again claimed that Love offered him 50k to whack Cobain, claimed that he knew who did kill, kill Cobain, giving the name Alan, and some people think it was Alan Winch, Grinch, but he said he would let the FBI catch him. According to a self, according to a self-published book by Mentor's bass player Steve Broy, the whole story was concocted by Mentor's associate, Rev. Bud Green, in order to sell to supermarket tabloids. Nice. Interestingly, though, uh, April 19, 1997, one day after, after his final performance in Talking to Brent Alden, eight, de eight days after filming his interview with Nick Broomfield in the Kurt and Courtney documentary, he was found dead on the railroad tracks uh, decapitation in an accident and was hit on by a full freight train going 60. That is pretty fucking weird. Thanks to the Prime Ram and the resub drobes. Day's been alright, Bear. Hope you've done well. wild uh according to the documentary made about or autobiography made about el Duchi, uh there were people on the track on the other side of the tracks that called out to him and he went over to meet them and got stuck thanks to the prime lumbo So who is Alan Rich? How deep does this go? Al <laughs> what a fucking unfortunate name. Alan Rich just of course brings me Alan Wrenches to buy. I see. So he doesn't want to be found. That crafty Alan Rich. Damn. All right, I'll do Alan Wrench Cobain. All right. Murdering Kurt Cobain, finishing it all off. I actually have a photo of Alan Wrench with Kurt Cobain wearing the shirt that he died in. Alan Wrench says he killed Kurt Cobain. Who is Alan Wrench? Yeah, there's not a whole lot about Alan Wrench. But it just seems like a guy who's trying to piggyback off of uh, that story from El Dushi. Whilst most have heard of the mainstream 9-11 conspiracies, one controversial theory proposes that United 93 was actually empty when it crashed. Supposedly, the passengers oh, well, this one's just really fucking disrespectful. And subsequently murdered. To prove this video, years before its release, in December 2009, these two videos were uploaded to YouTube. Shot in Moscow, they appear to show the same pyramid-shaped UFO. After the release of this footage, oh, wow. the of the pyramid went quiet. Then in 2018, this UFO was caught above the Pentagon. Holy shit. Mysteriously, around the same time, 
this leaked video found its way online, allegedly taken at a UN closed meeting in New York. Thanks to tier one a pool and the tier one boom. The pyramid was extraterrestrial in nature. Interestingly, she is now identified as Alaya Prokofieva, the real founder of the private space company, Galactica. <laughs> what? Oh my god, aliens are real. I knew it! It's proven! Would a triangle really be the best shape for their ships, though? This shit is from a movie. Thanks, Risa Leo. What movie? Thanks, a prime crown. What movie, though, is what I'm asking. I mean, I think it's... I, I also think it's from a movie. Would be my guess. Like, this is so convenient that it's just like an exposition dump here. But I don't know what movie. Let's see. Alaya Prokofievia. Viv... Prokofievia. Yep, that's how you say it. Alaya Prokofievia, founder, CEO of Human Cosmos. The only thing I find is her, like, LinkedIn pages. Everything I find about her is her posting about herself. Check comments. YouTube comments is the worst fucking place for anything ever. I guarantee they believed every single one of the things in here. Yep, that was definitely Bigfoot. Can't argue with that. Well, never mind, actually. Most of them are just calling it out. Nice. I'm